Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to tackle one of the most straightforward and reliable knots in the angler's arsenal, the polymer knot. You can use a polymer knot for almost any instance. I tend to use them a lot when we're working with braided lines. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, mastering this knot is essential. Better knots equals better success. And the polymer knot is a key knot to know and master, no matter your experience level. In less than two minutes, we'll have you mastering this knot. Now let's get into it. Now we'll start with, we have ourselves a size eight circle hook. They're from Team Catfish. You want to get a nice large hook with a nice large eye so it's easy to see. We also got some Trilene Big Game 50 pound mono. Again, this is for, you wouldn't go out fishing for bluegills with this. Let's just say that. So we want a thick line and a big hook, a nice big eye, so it's easy to see in this application. So what you want to do, you want to take your main line here, fold it over, and create yourself a loop. Then, by creating a small loop, feed that small loop through the eye of the hook, like so. Pull it through, but not all the way through. Holding on to the back end here, with the tag end, that's the main line. Take the line and tie a small overhand knot, like so. Pulling the loop down, like this, but not all the way. Then you want to feed your hook through this loop. Again, this is the loop you just pulled, making the overhand knot. Slide your hook through. And now, still holding on to this end here with the tag end in the main line. Just be sure that when you secure your polymer knot, that you're securing it to the eye and not to the shank of the hook. Have this one little piece that comes down below the eye, especially with a big, heavy line like this. You just want to pull it up so it doesn't get caught down there. And now you can just pull it tight. There you go. And that is as simple as it gets to tie a polymer knot. Be sure to trim the excess tag end close to the knot, leaving just a small tag end for security. It won't interfere with your fishing at all. Make sure you give the knot one more check to make sure it's well seated and secure. And there you go. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you like what you're getting from us. Now, if you want to check out an easier knot than this for a basic setup, check out this video above for an improved clinch knot. And we'll see you in the next video. And thank you for watching.